everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, for today's video, we are going to be diving into the Jawbreaker palette from Jeffree Star. So, when you open up the package, you get like a little card with Jeffree Star on it for the Jawbreaker theme. And I grew up in the 90s, I'm a 90s kid. I was born in 93 and these jawbreakers were quite the hit back in the day. So I love the whole look of the jawbreaker theme of the palette. This is what the box looks like. <clears throat> and it has all the ingredients on the back. So then when you open up the packaging, it looks like another jawbreaker, but it's pink. That's what it looks like. This is what the back looks like. It has all of his social media um, tags. So then, when we open it up, it has a mirror. And then it has all of these shades. Yes. Beautiful. So yeah, we're going to be playing with that palette for the day. Um, but before we go into that, I'm going to start with my face makeup. Sorry if I am like itching throughout this video. I somehow got poison ivy, poison oak, whatever you want to call it. I was under the impression my whole life that I was never able to get it. Um, I maybe have gotten it like maybe once or twice that I remember it growing up and it was just like a little, a little spot. And for some reason this year, I don't know where I was, and it is just all over my legs. I have calamine lotion all over my legs, and it's just, it's so annoying. So yeah, you might catch me doing that every once in a while. Alright, so I already washed and moisturized my face, so now we're going to go in with the primer, and I'm using my Maybelline Master Prime, the blur one. Today I'm going to be using my NARS, the Sheer Glow Foundation, and I'm in the shade Fiji. A little bit on our hand, and I'm going in with my Real Technique sponge. Okay, so now that the foundation is on the face, I'm going to go in with my Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer. And then we're going to blend that out. We're going to prime our eyes while we do that. Next I'm going to be going in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder to set our face. Okay, so next we're going in with some bronzer, and I'm using the Hoola bronzer from Benefit. Um, if I can find that brush. Going in with just a little Morphe brush. Next we're going to go in with some blush, and I'm just using my it's Ulta brand, 
It's their Tulip Blush. Okay. And then for highlighter, we're going to use the Amrezy. Okay, so now that the face is done, we are going to go in with our Jeffree Star palette. Um, some of these are not appropriate to say, I feel like, on my channel, because the names of some of these pe uh, pigments are curse words. So, I might just point to some of them instead of saying what they actually are. But, first we are going to go in with Cone. And it is this color right here. Alright, we're going to put that all over our lid for a transition shade. We're going to go in with this orange shade and it's called Suck. And I think I'm going to focus that on just the crease. Yeah. Just the crease. I'm going to go in with this shade Licorice, and it's a red color. And we're going to focus that on the crease and in the corner. You kind of do just the outside. I'm still going in with that red color and I'm just blending it very good on the outer corner. So I'm going to go back in with the suck color it's like the orange color and I'm gonna put some more in the crease now we're gonna go in with a yellow shade this yellow shade right here and it's called Wow Pat that on the lid. These shadows blend so freaking nice. I wouldn't expect anything less from Jeffree Star. I don't have any of his palettes. This is my first one. And I'm loving it. There's like so many colors to dive into for a look. I mean, it wouldn't be my go-to palette for like an everyday look, but if you're looking for color in your collection, these are really nice colors. Okay, so there is a shade in here. It's called Lemon Drop and it's yellow gold and it's shimmery so we're gonna go in with that one because I really want this yellow to pop I'm gonna spray my brush with some setting spray which I'm sure you don't have to do this but I really want it to pop and we're gonna go in with that lemon drop color
think I might cover the whole lid with that. So I'm really liking that. I'm gonna let that dry just a little bit because there's that setting spray on it. And then we're gonna go in with the licorice and suck color and we're gonna blend it all together We're gonna pop some Jawbreaker, and it's a shimmery color here in my inner corner. I want to do some colors underneath, but I don't want to mess it up. I'm gonna take the shade Cherry Wet, and it's like a pinky red color. So I'm going to go in with the green shade, it's called Sour, this one here. Mm. You guys see this stupid fly? Like get the hell out of here. It's really irritating me. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm going to go in with some liquid eyeliner. I'm using this Sex Kitten from Tarte. Okay, so off camera, I'm going to do my mascara, and I'm going to use the ColourPop BFF mascara. I'm going to do my eyebrows, and I'm going to apply some false lashes, which I'm going to be using my Demi Wispies from Ardell. So, I will see you guys back in a second. Okay guys, so I got my eyes done, and now for the final look, we're going to go for lips and I have my NYX lip liner in Los Angeles and I'm using my satin lip color from Shayla and Colourpop and it is in the shade Speed Up. Okay, last but not least, I'm going to set my face with the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. I just love the smell of this stuff.
Okay guys, and just like that, this is the final look using the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker Palette. I'm gonna zoom you up here, and you tell me what you think. But, this reminds me of The Lion King. And, I'll show you the picture that was my inspiration. Like, does that not look like my eyes? Lion King. If anybody is curious, it retails for $58. Um, I had just purchased the, um, the eyeshadow palette. I didn't get the whole collection. You know, he came out with lip colors and um, merch and all kinds of different stuff. But I just really wanted a palette from him and I saw all those colors and why not? It's his biggest palette that he's come out with. Um, and I have a lot of, you know, of the same shadows in all my other palettes. And I don't have very much color so I felt this was a perfect shadow palette to purchase with a bunch of colors. Um, it's not an everyday palette. You could use it as an everyday palette, but for me personally, it's not an everyday palette. It's more so, ooh, I really need a good yellow, or ooh, I need a really good blue, red, all kinds of colors. This is the palette to go for. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys love the look, and I will see you guys in my next video. As always, stay pretty, Sam fam.